Self Love Friends. Welcome. I'm Ashley. And I'm Mercedes. And welcome to the Self Love Channel. Welcome. And we're here today to bring you something that is so dear and near to us. And something that we love that keeps us going day by day. And that's having values to abide by. Hmm. Now, we're going to discuss two of them right now, but we have three parts to this. Yes. <laughs> and one of the ones that we love is not dwelling on things. Mm. Because dwelling, you guys, can lead to two things. And they're both no bueno. Okay? Mm -hmm. And that is depression and anxiety. Mm. And we don't have time for neither of the two. We're trying to live our best lives out here. And we don't have time to be depressed depressed and have a whole lot of anxiety okay now one thing well a couple of things that you can do to try your best not to dwell on something is for one find an outlet mm -hmm. find a healthy outlet healthy. That, yes that does not <laughs> form any unhealthy addictions that could be meditation that could be journaling it could be exercising playing video games playing basketball Whatever eases your mind and is an outlet for you. Some people it's cooking, cleaning. For one, like I said, meditation. Meditation is a very important practice that you can establish. Because for one, it trains your mind to snap back. So when you're having those negative thoughts or you're dwelling on the past that's already dead and done and there is nothing you can do about it. Or you're having anxiety over the future that's just a thought in your mind and it's pretty much your imagination to be honest because it hasn't happened yet and something can happen tomorrow that can change your whole perception on your future mm -hmm. meditation trains your mind to think that thought realize it for what it is and release it mm -hmm. journaling can be an amazing release as well therapy therapeutic AF, okay, <laughs> because it's like once you write it down, you're releasing it from the inside of you and you letting it go. It's a form of letting go. Also, breathing. Mercedes mentioned earlier to me about how breathing can help be a release because let's be honest, we don't all have time or we don't all think we have time to pour back mm -hmm. into ourselves. Mm -hmm. But it's very important that you find time. I don't care if it's five minutes. 10 minutes, 20 minutes out the day. Do something you love or just breathe. Just be still and be present in that moment and take a few deep breaths and think to yourself, do I really, is this, is this thought benefiting me in any type of way or is it harming me and putting me in the past where I'm not trying to be or put me in the future that's it hasn't, even happened. it hasn't even happened yet. So yes, y'all, we gotta we gotta stay positive out here and we live do. our best lives. So do whatever you can, pour back into yourself. Okay, when you having negative thoughts, stop for a minute, calm down, and ask yourself one question: How is this benefiting me? Okay. And we're going to live our best lives out here. Yes. So, Mercedes. <laughs> now, the second value, um, well, one that I personally love to live by is prayer and meditation. Mm -hmm. Now, I must start every single day off praying and meditating. They're very different, but they go together. Now, prayer is my talk with God. It's me getting it all out, releasing it praying for things that I desire, and it's just understanding for me. Mm -hmm. um, Sometimes it gets kind of tricky when you're just talking to too many people. Mm -hmm. Confusion, and it's not healthy. You have to understand yourself. You have to get to a point to where you trust yourself. Mm -hmm. I think trusting yourself is very important, and you can learn to do that through prayer and meditation. Mm -hmm. um, it is really good to have those people to confide in because sometimes we do want confirmation or we do seek the opinions of people who you know, have a healthy mind and they are going to give us something of value. So I'm not saying don't talk to other people. I'm just saying be careful with that. Mm -hmm. Now, meditation, completely different. It is mm -hmm. sitting in silent. It's not judging the thoughts. It's not judging myself. It's simply just being. 
And sometimes it's not as easy as just silencing the mind because the mind does what it wants to do all the time. So it's just learning to sit there and to be present, as Ashley was saying, in that moment. So prayer and meditation, those are values that I heavily live by. And I just can't do without them. And when I don't start my day off like that, it doesn't go the same. I take things more personal. I'm not as understanding. I'm not as compassionate. And I want to be all of those things. So if I have to wake up a little earlier mm -hmm. to make sure I give the best to myself and those around me, then I make sure that I do that. I find a time for it. Mm -hmm. You have to. It's, it's very essential to just find time to pour back into yourself. Yes. Even prayer. Prayer, meditation, whatever works for you to get your mind off of things or ease your mind yes okay y'all so those were just real quick video we try not to make it too long we don't want to keep y'all here too long mm -hmm. <laughs> but those are two values that are very important to us and we hope you all enjoyed them yes and if you found any value in it make sure you subscribe and comment and tell us some of your values we're open to listening have a good day